Well, as I was showing you yesterday, Volago broke through the net three times, and I thought the net was rotten, but it's not. This is the hole he made. There's another one or two of those. Yep, that's another one. But the the net is pretty strong. It's very hard to break by just pulling at it. Well, maybe it's not that hard. Oh yeah, I thought some parts of the net are weaker than others. Some of it I couldn't I couldn't break before when I was trying to like here. And it's not breaking. It's obviously an old net, but I think it's a combination of him breaking it and uh, biting it so that. Uh, He uses his really sharp teeth to do that. Okay, it's pretty hard to it's pretty hard to just straight break it. Except for some weaker points. Yep, here it breaks easy, see? Yep, it depends where you where you pull it, where you pull on it. So he broke it and he bit through it, but he couldn't do it with this net, as you saw yesterday, which is much thinner, but it's a different. It's nylon, uh, wo woven nylon roping. And it's very, very hard to break. So, uh, okay. Let's take a look at him. A day later, after the rehoming. He's been chilling in the current right here for the last half a day or so. You can see how bad his teeth are even from here. I mean, they're very sharp. And, uh, and the lower jaw is protruding so much and the teeth are covering it even all the way to the front. So when he's thrashing or swinging, he can cut through the, through the rope, obviously. Um, but there is no, no new damage on him anyway i don't see it. there is a uh, some marks from a from a bite like a light abrasion nothing no big deal okay get out of here and surprisingly i saw a, a bite mark on uh, on wells's tail which i've never seen before so that cannot be a coincidence It's on the other side, this side looks nice and clean, but the other side is somewhat scuffed up, right on the tail. Come on, Mr. Well, show it to us. There you go. I don't know if you can catch it well, but there it is. See, there's some couple of bloody spots, but it's only on one side of the tail, on the right-hand side. The left-hand side looks clean. But anyhow, I've never seen any marks on Wells, on Wells before, and it's not a coincidence that I put in a new Lyria in there yesterday, and today I'm seeing this mark. The old Lyria is right there, still by the by the Wells. You probably don't see it very well. It's black fish on black liner. But all in all, I think the 
Introduction went all right. I don't know if Mr. Wells decided to give the new guy a bump or a nudge or a push and then he bit his tail in return. But all the damage is to the fins and the, that's from the catching and rehoming from him thrashing in the net before I put him in the sack in the plastic bag. This will all heal also very well. Give it some time, a few weeks or a month or two. If no new damage occurs. On the toothster. Some abrasion on the top of the on the top of the body, right near the tail. All right, everybody's video bombing the frame. Well, there are obvious reasons for vigilance and uh, continued observation and concern. I think we'll call it... We'll call it good so far. We'll continue watching and reporting on it. Looks like he wants to yawn, but he hasn't he hasn't eaten much in the last uh, I don't know couple of months. Ever since we switched 100% to finger mullet, he probably grabbed a few, but he's not really fond of them. It seems. But in this tank, that's the only thing that is given to them: finger mullet and and pellets so he'll have to he'll have to take what is given he's not suffering look at him he's, he's looked bulky and he looks bulky and uh, very round in the stomach and the shoulder area <laughs> 